good afternoon today's our topic is a cockroach okay our topic is a cockroach uh, these are their color is a brown or black bodies means uh, they contain the black or some are black and brown color they contain and uh, they are related to the phylum arthropoda here their phylum is a arthropoda and the class is insecta the class is a insecta and they uh, they have the some uh, they contain the red, yellow red and green colored cockroaches also present uh, and uh, their length their size will be one fourth inches their size means they are very small one fourth of inches to three inches they contain and uh, they uh, uh, here they they contain mainly in the cockroaches uh, these long process they are called as antennae antennae and legs uh, they they are extensions of the upper body wall they are nocturnal nocturnal omnivores it means nocturnal means uh, they are active at night times uh, and they are omnivores omnivores means uh, they uh, they eat uh, both uh, uh, means a plant related and uh, uh, means carnivorous and uh, herbivores both uh, they are called as omnivores and mainly they live in uh, damp places okay and uh, these are the vectors these are the vectors of several diseases through this uh, these uh, uh, they transfer the they transfer the uh, microorganisms through this uh, so they are worked as a uh, vectors uh, if we discuss about the morphology of cockroach uh, here in them if, uh, if we take the adult cockroach uh, that uh, uh, mainly that uh, uh, important uh, one is uh, periplaneta americana the species uh, main species is the periplaneta americana it is uh, their uh, length is uh, 34 to 53 34 to its length is 34 to 53 millimeters and they uh, that uh, wings they have the wings that extends beyond the tip of the abdomen okay in males that are beyond the uh, tip of the abdomen that are covered and in female that are short and in the cockroaches that is divided into three parts means that the body part is divided into three main parts that are head thorax and abdomen okay head part thorax means body is divided into three parts that are the head thorax and abdomen and that the body is covered by a hard chitinous exoskeleton means they that is covered with the uh, exoskeleton um, exoskeleton chitinous exoskeleton that uh, uh, the, uh, that is uh, made with the cuticle okay in each segment that contain the hardened plates here in the the body is divided into scales uh, segments uh, that are uh, that contain the hard plates uh, they are called as sclerites okay it is a very important bit uh, that uh, hardened plates uh, are called as uh, uh, sclerites. And next uh, here, uh, the sclerites, uh, they are uh, dorsally, they, the plates are called as uh, tergites. Dorsal segment, dorsal plates, they are called tergites. Uh, and uh, ventral side, they are called as uh, sternites. And uh, lateral sides, uh, they are called as uh, pleura. Okay, means uh, dorsal side, uh, the plates are tergites and ventral side they are called as steroids and the sides they are called as a pleura. Okay, that is called as a pleura. They are pleura, okay, that are jointed with the arthroidal membranes, means that all or that membranes that uh, each jointed with the that is arthroidal membrane that is the articulate membrane and if we see the uh, structure of this structure of cockroach in them we can see here uh, this is the cockroach structure in this uh, it is the head part okay from the head part these are the long processes they are called as antennae 
both sides of one pair of a one pair of a, uh, antennae are arise from the head part and here in this uh, it is a compound i they contain in the anterior side okay in the head part they contain the uh, compound eyes and uh, it is a uh, that is a pronotum this is a pronotum and uh, already i told you know, that uh, uh, head thorax and uh, abdomen in this uh, they that is a mesothorax this part is called as a mesothorax and a, a metathorax this a posterior part is called as a metathorax here the mesothorax from this uh, uh, it is thorax region means uh, thorax prothorax prothorax metathorax and mesothorax they contain three parts the is divided into thorax is divided into three parts mesothorax uh, pro prothorax mesothorax and metathorax in this uh, mm. here head head is uh, that is look like a triangular shape okay they are, they are in a triangular shape and that is a uh, uh, at the anterior angles, that is a right angle to the body. Okay, means that is a towards a downwards they are arranged. It means the head is in triangular and uh, that lies anteriorly and downwards to the, uh, that lies a uh, uh, right angle to the body and that uh, hangs downwards. So they are called as a hypopharynx, a hypognathus. The head is called as a hypognathus. And next, uh, here uh, that uh, <clears throat> in the head part uh, that contain mainly six segments are present. Uh, okay, they help in the, uh, they shows uh, great mobility in all directions. Means they can move all directions uh, uh, with the help of a flexible neck uh, that contain a small neck part uh, that is uh, not visible clearly. That is called as cervicum. That neck part is called as a uh, uh, that is a cervicum means that the head part is connected to the thorax region that is called as a neck and the head capsule bears a pair of compound eyes here they contain the compound eyes they contain the compound eyes each they are they have the antennae arise from the membrane sockets in the eyes, okay, in the eyes part, they contain the, they contain, uh, they have the uh, thread-like antennae or arise. And antennae, what is the function of that one? They are, they help in the sensory receptors. It means they are helping the sensory receptors and they help in the monitoring the environment. It means any changes in the environment, they are identified with, with the help of this antennae. And anterior end of the head that bears that appendages forming, uh, they are biting and chewing type. Means their mouth parts, they are biting and chewing type. Means they, they bite the food and they chew the food with the help of mouth parts. Uh, in them, uh, here in this, uh, in the mouth parts, uh, uh, they contain the labrum, okay? Labrum means uh, that is the upper lip and a pair of mandibles. Mandibles means uh, that uh, um, uh, strong in which uh, the teeth uh, in as the uh, upper, upper mandible and uh, uh, jaws uh, that are called as mandibles, okay? Jaws in them, they are called as mandibles and a pair of maxillae. Maxillae which help to cut the food that are, they are, they are called as a maxillae. And a labium, that is the lower lip, means the upper lip is called as a 
labrum and lower lip is called as labia and a pair of uh, that uh, pair of mandibles uh, and a pair of maxillae are present uh, in them and a median flexible lobe uh, that is the tongue here in the middle that contain the tongue that is called as a uh, hypopharynx okay that head part is called as a uh, hypognathus uh, and the uh, that the tongue that is called as a hypopharynx that lies within the cavity of enclosed by the mouth parts. And next, in the thorax region, it is the second segment of that, okay, in the body, that is the second segment, okay, that the thorax consists of three, three parts. They are prothorax, mesothorax, and metathorax. In this, the head is connected with the thorax by a short uh, extension that is uh, known as a neck uh, that is a cervicum means in the uh, head part is uh, connected with the prothorax uh, by the neck part that is called as a cervicum and next in each thoracic segment they have the they have a pair of walking legs means uh, in them from uh, from in the thorax region uh, from uh, they bear a pair of walking legs uh, the pair of uh, uh, the first pair of wings uh, means uh, here they also contain the uh, means in them they contain the in the thoracic segment means uh, they contain in the thorax region they contain the prothorax uh, meto metathorax and mesothorax from each segment they contain the one pair of uh, segments means uh, total six uh, legs or uh, uh, walking legs are present in this uh, cockroach okay the first pair of wings here they also have the wings they are arising from the mesothorax and the second frame uh, second pair from the uh, metathorax means uh, from the uh, in the thorax region that uh, uh, first one is a prothorax so they don't have any uh, uh, they are wings are not arise from that from the second and the third uh, regions uh, the wings are arising and uh, four wings uh, means uh, which are arising from the mesothoracic they are called as a tagmina okay the first uh, wings uh, four wings uh, they are called as a tagmina they are opaque means uh, they are uh, opaque means they are not transparent uh, and dark and leathery they are uh, uh, leathery and they cover the hind wings uh, okay when they are in rest time uh, these are five, four wings that cover the hind wings when they are in a rest period. The hind wings, they are transparent. Here they are opaque and these are hind, uh, hind wings, they are transparent and they are useful in a flight. Here the four wings only that cover the uh, body and also cover the uh, hind wings. But here the hind wings that help in the flight and they are transparent. Next, it is the third part that is the abdomen. Okay, in the third part, they have the in the body that that is the third part that is the abdomen. Okay, that abdomen in both in male and female that contain the ten segments. Okay, it contains ten segments. In female, mainly in female, the seventh sternum. Sternum means. A ventral side a ventral side a, a plate that have the board shaped that a seventh sternum that is a, in board shape in bits they will ask uh, where the board shaped sternum is present means that is present in the females at the seventh sternum and uh, uh, they they have the eighth and ninth sigma sterna uh, forms a brood or a genital pouch means a uh, in female, the 7th, 8th, 9th, they form as a brood pouch or a genital pouch. 
okay here in them in this uh, the anterior part uh, that contains a female genital pores in the genital brood pouch uh, that contain the anterior side that contain the uh, gonopore okay that contain the gonopore and uh, spermatical pores okay spermatical pores uh, 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 are present for store these help in the storing the sperms uh, and the collateral glands collateral glands also present in a female and in male if we take uh, the, the male cockroach the genital pouch or chamber that lies uh, uh, hind wing or uh, hind end of a abdomen at the abdomen the uh, hind end that contain the this is a genital pouch at the ninth and tenth terga means they are present at the ninth and tenth terga not sterna that is a terga means a dorsal side and uh, uh, terga and uh, ventrally by ninth sternum means uh, at the ninth and tenth uh, terga uh, ventral side and uh, uh, that are the dorsal side and ventrally at the ninth sternum they are present the they present the pouch okay genital pouch they contain in a male okay and it contains a dorsal anus here in them the uh, dorsal anus and a ventral uh, ventral male genital pore and gonapophysis are present in male that bear a pair of short threaded like anal styles okay in them the anal styles are present that are absent in females. Anal styles that are present in male only in male and uh, anal surgery that are present in uh, both male and female. Okay. Here the, uh, that presented the 10th segment. At the 10th segment, the pair of uh, uh, filaments, they are called as anal surgery. In both, uh, in bits, they will ask uh, anal surgery are uh, present in uh, which segment or uh, uh, the anal styles are present in which cockroach, male or female? Means so anal styles are present in a male cockroach and anal surgery are present in both female and male cockroach at the 10th segment. If we see the uh, structure of mouth parts, uh, here it uh, it is the head region. In this, uh, it is the uh, it is the compound eye, okay, and that is uh, located in the acillus, okay, that is the socket, uh, and these are the man mandibles, uh, like jaw-like structures, which help to uh, help in the make the uh, food the bite and chewing. And next, maxillae, they cut the food into pieces. And labrum, labrum is the upper lip and labium is the lower lip. And in them, in the mouth parts, they are biting and chewing type mouth parts. Here, that is the labrum. Labrum is the upper uh, lip and it is the labium. Labium is the lower lip. And in them, these are grinding region these are the mandibles both sides are present they help in the grinding region they are incising region means uh, uh, in our teeth uh, in uh, four types of teeth are present now that in that incisors which uh, help to um, cut the food in this also this uh, uh, make the they help in the grinding and uh, cutting and uh, hypopharynx, it is the tongue structure. Uh, it is lobe-like structure. It is a tongue. And uh, these are the maxillae which help to um, cut the food in them. Uh, here, <coughs> in this, uh, that uh, digestive system, if we take the uh, digestive system of cockroach, uh, uh, it is the uh, system of digestive system of cockroach. In them, uh, here they contain the anterior side that contain the salivary glands uh, and uh, this is the crop. First, uh, it is the anatomy, means where they are located, okay? 
the alimentary canal present in the body cavity means uh, that uh, that is present in the body cavity that divide into three regions uh, three regions that uh, that are a fore gut mid gut and hind gut means uh, alimentary canal what is alimentary canal that uh, which is uh, starting from the mouth to which end at the posterior side with the anus that is called as a alimentary canal in alimentary canal that is present in the body cavity that is present in the body cavity that is divided into three regions okay that are the that are the fore gut mid gut and hind gut that are the three regions in the digestive system okay the mouth the mouth open into a short tubular pharynx it is the in this uh, uh, it is the pharynx region the mouth is open into the pharynx region that is uh, open into the uh, this uh, tube like structure that is called as esophagus okay pharynx is open into the mouth is open into the uh, pharynx uh, that is open into the esophagus uh, and uh, uh, that is uh, what is that uh, that is a uh, narrow tubular passage that is the only narrow tubular passage and next to this uh, that is opened into the a sac like structure okay that is a look like sac bag like structure that is called as a crop means uh, in as a, that is a called as a stomach in them uh, that they are called as a, that is a crop uh, that is used for storing of food that uh, uh, crop uh, store the food uh, and the crop is uh, followed by gizzard here in the posterior side of the stomach uh, that contain the gizzard uh, okay it is the part of gizzard or proventriculus means a uh, uh, gizzard or proventriculus it has a outer layer of a thick circular muscles in them in the gizzard part uh, okay in the gizzard part uh, that contain the thick circular muscles uh, and a thick inner cuticle uh, they forming six slightly chitinous plate uh, means uh, they are teeth like structures are present uh, in the they, uh, they contain the like in them they contain the six uh, uh, teeth like structures uh, are uh, present in them that are called that is the called uh, gizzard okay uh, what is the function of that one that gizzard helps uh, in grinding the food particles means uh, that help in the gizzard that help in the because of these uh, uh, that contain the uh, teeth like structures plates chitinous plates uh, okay how many they are present uh, they uh, they are six six uh, chitinous plates are present they help in the help in the grinding the food and next uh, the entire foregut is lined by cuticle from here to here from the mouth to till gizzard that is called as a foregut okay it is the foregut it is the foregut and next that is a uh, uh, lined by cuticle okay completely that contain the cuticle and a ring of six to eight uh, blind tubules called hepatic or gastric secret here six to eight number it uh, should remember the number okay here the uh, the six to eight uh, tubules uh, they are called as a uh, hepatic uh, ck or gastric ck is present at the junction of foregut and mid gut okay here from here to here it is called as foregut uh, and uh, late uh, uh, below the gizzard uh, that is called as a uh, mid gut in the region that contain the six to eight hepatic CK. Okay, here they contain the hepatic CK or they are also called as a gastric CK. Uh, which secrete digestive juices. So what is the function of that one? Means uh, they release some uh, digestive juices uh, at the junction of mid gut and uh, hind gut is uh, at the junction of mid gut and hind gut. Uh, is present another ring of a 100 to 1, uh, 150 yellow colored malphigian tubules here we can see these are the malphigian uh, small hair like structures are present uh, these are called as a 
small phagian tubules. Here they are, these are called as hepatic CK or gastric CK. And here, small phagian tubules. These are present 100, you should remember the number. They are 100 to 150 yellowish colored small phagian tubules are present. Uh, they help in the removal of excretory products. It means uh, these small pigeon tubules, they are uh, do the function of uh, excretion. Okay. That are produced in the uh, hemolymph. And in then in a uh, hind gut that is the broader than mid gut means it is the broader than mid gut and uh, it is a uh, uh, differentiated into ileum colon and rectum mainly that is divided into that is uh, divided into Okay, that is divided into that are the ili, uh, ilium, ilium, colon, and rectum that are present in the hind gut. Okay, the rectum opens out through the anus. Here that contain the anus through that uh, waste materials are sent out uh, through this. Means uh, in the digestive system mainly, in the digestive system mainly that contain the, that contain the, in the uh, mouth is opened into the, uh, pharynx region that is opened into the uh, esophagus and uh, that are opened into the crop, okay, that is the storing of the food and at the posterior side that contain the muscular gizzard is present in them, in the gizzard, six to uh, six uh, chitinous uh, teeth are present which help to grinding the food and uh, these are the, uh, it is the mid gut, okay. And that uh, uh, in the posterior side that contain the hepatic CK, which uh, help in the excretion of uh, undigested food. And uh, in the uh, hind gut uh, that contain the ileum, colon and rectum. And that rectum is opened outside through the anus. It is about the digestive system of a cockroach. And if we uh, discuss about the discuss about the blood vascular system means the circulatory system in them in them that uh, that is an open type means in them that uh, blood vessels uh, vessels are not present okay that uh, so that uh, see, uh, circulatory system is called as a that is called as a open type uh, open type circulation. Here in them, blood vessels are poorly developed. Means in them, the blood vessels are poorly developed and uh, that are open into the uh, uh, hemocele. Okay, that are open into the hemocele. That is the coelom. That uh, blood is uh, opened into the coelom. So that is called as hemocele. That visceral organs, main organs are located in the hemocele, like in our heart, lungs, that all are located in our body, in the coelom, like that. These are visceral organs that are present in the hemocele, that are bought in the blood, means that are present in the hemolymph. The hemolymph, what is hemolymph? That is a composed of colorless plasma, means that does not contain a uh, 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 RBC. Okay, they are contain hemocytes. They contain the colorless fluid that is a plasma, and then hemocytes are present. 
here in them the heart uh, heart are present uh, heart of cockroach consists of elongated muscular tube that are the muscular tube lying along with the mid dorsal line of a thorax region okay in the thorax region in the mid dorsal thorax region that contain a thorax and abdomen region that contain the heart and it is differentiated uh, into funnel shaped chamber that are uh, separated as a uh, as a shape they have the funnel shape and they contain ostia ostia on either side blood uh, from <clears throat> sinuses enter heart through ostia and is pumped anterior to sinuses sinuses means that open spaces in the coelom they are called sinuses that are blood that blood from the sinuses enter heart through ostia through ostia that are opened and at the these are the heart okay here tube like structures they are called here they are uh, called as uh, these are the heart chambers okay these are uh, here in the sides so they contain the ostia small uh, holes are present uh, at the uh, ending of the each uh, heart okay they are called as ostia it is about the uh, circulatory system of cockroach okay means in them they contain the tube like tubular hearts are present uh, uh, and uh, that are uh, uh, that uh, in this uh, circulatory system is open type uh, means they their blood vessels are poorly developed their uh, blood uh, they does not contain uh, rbc that uh, blood is called as hemolymph okay that is the colorless uh, fluid and next uh, about the circulatory uh, the respiratory system in respiratory system it consists of a network of trachea means uh, they contain the trachea that are open through a 10 pairs of small holes uh, they are called as spiracles uh, means uh, in them they contain the spiracles uh, they contain the spiracles uh, Okay, here in the respiratory system, if we take the respiratory system, it consists of a, it consists of a trachea and uh, that uh, 10 pairs of, okay, this number should be uh, noted and these are 10 pairs of uh, small pores, uh, small pores are present, uh, they are called as, uh, they are called as uh, spiracles, uh, okay. They are uh, in the 10 pairs that are present. They are called as spiracles. They are present on the lateral side of the body. Means uh, at the uh, sides, uh, they contain the small holes. They are called uh, in each segment, uh, both sides uh, that uh, holes are present. Uh, they, uh, they are called as spiracles. Thin uh, branching tubes uh, that are called as trachea tracheal tubes they are subdivided into tracheoles means a trachea is the long tube that is subdivided into tracheoles that uh, they carry the oxygen from the air to all parts means through that tracheoles tracheal tubes and tracheoles that oxygen are uh, take from the air and they send supply to the all parts of the body Through this uh, spiracles means uh, because they contain the spiracles also na, through that uh, spiracles air is entered uh, into their body uh, uh, that, that are opened outside uh, that uh, through that pores uh, that atmospheric air uh, that is entered into through this uh, spiracles uh, and they contain uh, Spinters uh, at uh, each uh, um, each spiracles uh, that are that have the spinters uh, to allow the air inside only, not uh, uh, send the outside. And exchange of gases takes place uh, uh, at the 
tracheal tracheoles by diffusion means uh, that uh, gases exchange in human beings uh, that uh, gases exchange occurs in the alveoli uh, here uh, in them that uh, gases exchange occurs at the tracheoles in the tracheoles uh, by diffusion process that a gases exchange with occurs. It is about the uh, respiratory system. Means uh, in them mainly they uh, they contain trachea, trachea tube-like structures uh, that are uh, how many they contain? Uh, Ten pairs uh, at the trachea are present. Uh, they are opened outside through this uh, 10 pairs of uh, small holes. Uh, okay, that uh, are regulated by the sphincters. Each uh, spiracles are regulated by the sphincters. In them, by uh, tracheal uh, gases exchange occurs at the tracheoles by the diffusion. Okay. Yeah. It is about the circulatory uh, respiratory system. And next, uh, in the excretory system, in the excretion that is performed by malphagian tubules, uh, means uh, in them, they have the malphagian tubules, uh, okay? They have the malphagian tubules, uh, which help to take the waste materials and uh, that are uh, open into the uh, digestive tract, element uh, that are open into the alimentary canal, okay? Each tubule uh, is a, uh, uh, lined by a glandular that are lined by glandular and ciliated cells it means these each tubules okay how many they are present 100 to 150 are present that each tubule is lined by a glandular and ciliated cells they absorb uh, they absorb nitrogenous wastes means they will take the nitrogenous wastes uh, that are produced uh, in the body and that uh, uh, convert them into uric acid. They absorb the, these nitrogenous wastes uh, and uh, convert them into uric acid. That is uh, excreted out uh, through the hind gutter. Okay, that are opened into the alimentary canal uh, at the uh, hind gut region. Uh, so, um, by that, uh, that are uh, uh, removed outside. Here, this, uh, uh, it is called as, means uh, in them, in these cockroaches, uh, that uh, uric acid is the excretory product. Uh, so, they are called as uricotelic organisms. Means, uh, their excretion is uh, urico, uric acid. So, they are called as uricotelic animals. Uh, the, not only these uh, malfeasant tubules, uh, some uh, the fat bodies uh, and uh, here they contain the nephrocytes, uh, nephrocytes and uh, uricose glands. Uh, they also help in the excretion. Means uh, they also absorb the uh, nitrogenous wastes and uh, they send out. What are they? That uh, fat bodies, uh, nephrocytes and uh, uricose glands. Okay. It is about the excretory system. And next one. And next one that is a that is the nervous system. Okay. In this nervous system, it is the nervous system. Uh, it consists of a series of fused uh, segmentally arranged ganglia. What are ganglia? Ganglia means a group of nerve cells that are array, uh, formed that is called as ganglia. Means a group of nerve cells that, are, that is called as ganglia. And uh, they are jointed by a pair of uh, longitudinal connectives. Okay. They 
<clears throat> they consist of mainly ganglia and a jaw that are jointed by a pair of longitudinal connectives on the ventral side. They are present at the ventral side, not a dorsal side. Here, three ganglia that are present in the thorax region. In the thorax region, they are present uh, three ganglia and uh, six uh, in the abdomen region. Okay means uh, nine ganglia are present, uh, three are present uh, at the thorax region and uh, six uh, in the abdominal region. And the nervous system of cockroach is uh, uh, spread throughout the body, means a uh, nervous system that is uh, throughout the body that is uh, uh, spread in them. The head holds uh, a bit of nervous system while the rest is uh, uh, situated along the ventral, means uh, at the head region that contains the that contains only a bit of a nervous system and uh, remaining uh, all that I presented the, uh, along the ventral side. Okay. And uh, here, in the cockroach, uh, here the head contain the in the head head region that contain the brain, uh, the represented by a supra esophageal ganglion. Supra means uh, above the esophagus that is present. Okay, that is present at the, the that is present at the uh, above the esophagus. Okay, above the esophagus, so that is called as a supraesophageal, supraesophageal ganglion, which supplies nerves to, uh, they supply the nerves to the antennae and uh, compound eyes, means uh, at the uh, antennal region, uh, at the head part that contain long antennae, uh, that nerves are supplied to the antennae and at the compound eyes. And in uh, sense organs, in the cockroaches, uh, the sense organs are present. These are antennae, eyes, maxillary parts, labial parts, and anal surgery. These are the sense organs in the cockroach. Okay, antennae that are erased from the head part, long uh, uh, processes, and eyes that are compound eyes, maxillary that are present in the mouth parts, which help to uh, cut the food into pieces, and uh, uh, labial parts, labium, uh, lower lip, uh, they, which help to hold the food uh, and anal, uh, anal surgery are present. Okay. That uh, compound eyes uh, that are situated at the dorsal surface, the surface of the head, uh, at the dorsal surface uh, that contain the head, uh, head uh, each eye consists of about 2000 hexagonal. How many means nearly uh, 2000 hexagonal omatidia, okay, uh, that uh, contain uh, in compound eyes uh, nearly 2000 omatidia are present uh, that are uh, hexagonal structures. Uh, uh, with the help of several omatidia, a cockroach can receive several images, means uh, they can, uh, because of this uh, 2000 uh, omatidia, each omatidia that receive the image. So, so many number of uh, uh, images uh, are formed in them. This kind of vision is known as a mosaic vision. Means uh, they because of they uh, had the 2000 uh, omatidia, each uh, they received the, they uh, received the images. So they, they have uh, many images uh, at a time that is called as mosaic vision. Okay with more sensitivity, but less resolution. Uh, here, that's why they are, uh, they are uh, active at the night time. Hence, they are called nocturnal, nocturnal uh, insects. And they are, their vision is called as a nocturnal vision.
next uh, about the reproductive system if we take the reproductive system of a cockroach in them in them they are dioecious means a male and a female are separate they have well developed reproductive organs in them male female organ reproductive organs are well developed and male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes here they contain the testes on lying on each lateral side of the fourth and sixth say abdominal segments at the fourth and sixth abdominal segments that are in male testes are present and from each testes okay from the each testis uh, arise a thin vasa difference which uh, help to transfer the sperms uh, means uh, in the test that uh, small sperms are uh, present uh, that are transported through this uh, vasa difference uh, which are opened into the ejaculatory duct here that are opened at the ejaculatory duct through the seminal vesicles through the seminal vesicles uh, that are opened into the ejaculatory duct here the ejaculatory duct open into the male gonopore means uh, in the, that is the ejaculatory duct uh, that uh, open into the male uh, gonopore situated ventral to ventral to anus that are situated at the uh, anus uh, ventral to anus and uh, here in them uh, that are uh, looked like a, a mushroom shape the gland is present at the 6th to 7th abdominal segments in male that mushroom shaped mushroom shaped gland is present that is at 6th 7th abdominal segments their function is an accessory reproductive gland it is the help in the that that is called as accessory reproductive gland the external genitalia are represented by male gonapophysis or phalomeres. Here they contain three phalomeres are present. They are called as gonapophysis or phalomeres. They are chitinous asymmetrical structures. Okay. They are they are asymmetrical means not they are not similar. Okay. They are chitinous structures surrounding the male gonopore at the gonopore the uh, that are contain the these are three uh, phalomeres are present here the sperms the sperms are stored in the, in the seminal vesicles means in the uh, that uh, <clears throat> testes that uh, sperms are produced that are uh, transferred to through vasa difference and that are open stored in the seminal vesicles and are glued together in the form of bundles that are called as spermatophores it means all sperms are they are attached with each other with the glue like gum like structure and they are formed as a that are called as a spermatophores which are discharged during copulation it means that are uh, at the time of copulation, they are released out. In the female reproductive system, that uh, female uh, that consists of uh, two large ovaries. Here they contain the two large ovaries uh, lying laterally in the uh, way in which segment they are present at the two to uh, second to sixth abdominal segments uh, that the uh, ovaries are present. Uh, here we can see that uh, picture. Uh, here it is the male reproductive system. These are the testes. Okay, these are long. Uh, they are called as a testes. Uh, and uh, here it is the mushroom gland. Mushroom uh, mushroom gland is present, and it is the ejaculatory duct. And uh, these are the anal anal cir circus, and uh, these are anal styles, caudal styles or anal styles. Uh, and here they are phalomeres are present. Uh, right phalomere and ventral phalomere and left phalomere three phalomeres are present and seminal vesicles seminal vesicles are present here and in the mushroom that is a phallic gland in the it is a mushroom gland in that small tubules and present at the in 
in the center and uh, long tubules are present at the peripheral. And in female reproductive system, the ovaries are located uh, at the two to second to sixth segments uh, and they have the oviducts. These are the oviducts. The ova is released from this uh, oviduct. Uh, here, each ovary is formed a group of eight ovarian tubules or ovarioles. Means uh, these uh, are called as ovarioles. Means this number, uh, they are six to eight number, uh, combiningly they are formed as uh, ovary. They are, that are called as ovarioles. Uh. <clears throat> they are containing a chain of uh, uh, developing ova. And oviducts, oviducts are um, from each ovary form a single median oviduct. It is called as a vagina in them and which opens into the gen genital chamber that are opened into the genital chamber and a pair of spermatheca is present at the sixth segment. At the sixth segment that contain the spermatheca, okay, that is a present at the sixth segment uh, spermatheca. Uh, which opens into the genital chamber means uh, what is the function of spermatheca that is uh, that uh, sperms uh, are stored uh, for some time in the spermatheca stored in them here sperms are transferred through the spermatophores means what are spermatophores the the group of uh, bundle like structures of uh, sperms they are called as spermatophores that are transferred through the sperms are transferred through spermatophores. Their fertilized eggs are encased, means around that they have one case like structure or capsule like structure that is called as utheca. Okay, in that box that fertilized eggs are arranged in them. And Uthika is a dark reddish to blackish brown capsule. It looks like a capsule-like structure that is a dark reddish or a blackish color. And it is about 3 by 8 millimeters long they contain. Means a very small capsule-like structures are present. They are dropped or glued to a a suitable surface means uh, they release the these uh, boxes uh, outside uh, and uh, usually in crack or cervicus of uh, a service uh, crevices crevices of the high relative humidity means uh, they uh, uh, they are released that uh, boxes uh, into the cracks means uh, on the walls that cracks are there uh, that uh, in that regions uh, they release that uh, boxes uh, or utica that uh, uh, on uh, on an average, uh, female produce nine to ten utheca means that the small boxes uh, that which contain the fertilized eggs uh, that uh, nearly nine to ten utheca are present, uh, each containing fourteen to sixteen eggs uh, means uh, they each box contain fourteen to sixteen eggs. Uh, uh, the that boxes number is uh, nine to ten. Okay, means uh, that much of uh, uh, cockroaches are uh, reproduced uh, at a time. Okay. Nearly, nearly 160, uh, 160, 160 eggs uh, cockroaches uh, they produce. Uh, and uh, Periplaneta Americana is a uh, Parometabolus, uh, meaning it is a uh, development is through uh, nymphal stages, means uh, they, they have the nymphal stages, not the uh, larval stages. Uh. Here they contain the nymphal stages. The nymph looks very, uh, very much like adult, means uh, the, uh, si in size that is uh, smaller than the adult, but uh, they are completely similar to the adult cockroach. It grows up by a molting. Here they contain the molting about 13 times to reach the adult. It means the nymph is the small baby cockroach. 
that have the uh, maltings, uh, nearly 13 maltings, means uh, the removing of uh, their skin uh, uh, that, uh, that is called as malting, uh, that uh, uh, nearly 13 uh, times malting will occur and uh, that is uh, developed as a, uh, later that is developed as an uh, adult. The next to last nymphal stage has the wing pads, but only adult cockroach have wings. Here, the last stage, um, last stage, the contain the nymphal stage that has a wing pads, that has a wing pads, uh, but in adult cockroaches, they have the completely well developed wings are present. Many uh, species of cockroaches are. Uh, uh, wild and are uh, no uh, non economic importance uh, it means uh, they are not uh, useful to us uh, okay uh, but a uh, few species uh, thrive in and uh, around human habitat they uh, live with us uh, in our homes uh, they are uh, they are pests because they spoil food that means uh, they uh, work as a, they are uh, uh, transfer the uh, microorganisms so they are best, uh, vectors uh, and they spoil the food uh, it, with their uh, smelly excreta and they also excrete some uh, the, they release the excretion uh, so that the food is spoiled if that are uh, in our houses and uh, they can uh, transmit a variety of bacterial diseases by containing food material And it is completely about the about the cockroach. If we see from starting, it is a cockroach is a reddish brown color and mainly that uh, main points we will discuss. Uh, their uh, head is a uh, triangular and that is a uh, hypo, hypognathus. Why? Because that is right angle to the, uh, that is hangs downwards uh, and right angle to that. So that is called as a hypognathus head uh, and that contain the six segments in them. And next, uh, here uh, that contain the mouth parts, their mouth parts are uh, biting and chewing type uh, that contain the labium, uh, that is the upper lip, lower lip, labrum is the upper lip, labium is the lower lip and the mandibles, uh, uh, one pair of mandibles and maxillae are present uh, and the tongue is present uh, that is called as a uh, hypopharynx, uh, okay. And the body is divided into three parts, uh, head, thorax, and abdomen. Okay, in the thorax, uh, thorax region, uh, thorax region, prothorax, mesothorax, and metathorax are present. And uh, uh, two pairs of wings are present that are arising from the main metathorax and mesothorax and metathorax. And uh, in the digestive system that contain the alimentary canal, here the uh, salivary glands are also present at the lateral sides of the buccal cavity in that uh, and uh, that mouth is opened into the uh, opened into the pharynx region and uh, that is entered into the esophagus and to the crop. Uh, here the uh, posterior part of the uh, crop that contain the gizzard. Uh, here in this gizzard, uh, six uh, uh, chitinous teeth are present which uh, help to uh, cut the food into pieces and in this region that contain it is a uh, called as a uh, pro gut uh, posterior gut uh, anterior gut uh, and uh, uh, that is fore gut and uh, it is the uh, in this uh, uh, mid gut that contain the he hepatic cycle uh, and uh, malvision tubules are present uh, which uh, help in the excretion and uh, it is the later that is the uh, hind gut uh, that contain the ileum, colon and uh, rectum. Rectum is open outside through the anus. And in the circulatory system that contain the tubular uh, hearts are present. Uh, here in the uh, allergy muscles are uh, present at the lateral sides of uh, these uh, chambers. Uh, 
and in the respiratory system that have the they have the trachea and that are opened through 10 pairs of small holes they are called as a spiracles that the spiracles are they are regulated by the sphincters and in nervous system that they have the ganglia are present In the uh, uh, that uh, in cockroach sense organs are compound eyes uh, and um, uh, antennae, maxillary pulps, labial pulps are present. Each eye consists of nearly 2000 hexagonal omatidia. That uh, omatidia, each omatidia, they receive uh, the uh, images. So, so many images are formed. That is called as that uh, vision is called as mosaic vision. Uh, these are, uh, uh, this vision is also called as nocturnal uh, vision and they are active at night time. So, they are called as a nocturnal animals. And in a, uh, in a reproductive system, male and female are present. In them, uh, that uh, they have the, in male reproductive system, they, they contain one pair of testes are present uh, and uh, here mushroom gland is present uh, in, uh, and uh, here that uh, ejaculatory duct uh, that uh, is present at the posterior side or posterior part of the this uh, gland and uh, in male uh, that contain the anal, anal uh, uh, styles are present in the male that are absent in a uh, female. Anal cerci are present in both. In female reproductive system that contain the six to eight uh, Ovarioles, they bind and formed as a uh, ovary and they have the oviducts, both sides that combine and form as a common oviduct or that is a uh, vagina. And here the lateral side that contain the collateral glands that are opened into the, this is a genital chamber, okay, that are opened into the genital chamber and uh, that are opened out uh, uh, here, these uh, contain the spermatheca, which help to store the uh, sperms in, in the spermatheca. Here, they release uh, the, the fertilized eggs are uh, present uh, in the, uh, arranged in the small uh, uh, utheca that are nearly, they produce, females produce 9 to 10 utheca and uh, each uh, one contain 14 to 16 eggs in them. Okay, it is completely about the cockroach. Okay, thank you.